hey guys it's sunday i don't know if i vlogged yet but it's sunday mom's not there again the usual weekend plan she's coming back today and then i need to step out because i haven't gone out uh, in a while so probably get dinner with veronica um when abby's asleep i am feeling i always get these feelings of i don't know lightheadedness i don't know if my iron iron deficiency or what but like lightheadedness i feel like jittery and my attention span is very le like limited i'm looking everywhere like i'm eating food i'm watching a show i'm i know i'm supposed to do one thing at a time but i'm feeling rushed for some reason i don't know why that happens is this like an anxiety thing i don't know sometimes my hand trembles today my hand didn't tremble but i'm definitely feeling a little out of control with my mind it's a very strange feeling i've never had this feeling before <laughs> So I just got into my room and I'm just going to sit for a while. Take a few breaths and then put myself together and go because sometimes I can be very rushed. I can do a million things in one time. I edit, I'm sitting with Abby, I'm also filming the next thing. I'm also checking my stories. I'm also like it's a lot that I'm doing so I just want to like take a second. I am going to sit with Abby now for a bit. It's Sunday like I said before I get to the work part of my week. I'm just gonna relax. I think I need a massage to be honest. I think my back is terribly given out. I think it's because of the workout, the weights that I'm lifting. I wore heels recently. It's come to like workout, like suddenly working out. When you work out, they always recommend to get a massage. Always just loosen up the muscles. And I used to get massages all the time, but now I kind of like stop. But I think I need to get back on it. I think that's why my body's feeling a little like, I don't know, like tight. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. See, I can't focus. I'm like doing 10,000 things in one time. I am, oh my God, I'll just, I need to, I need to fix this. Good morning. I very rarely wear caps <laughs> and especially to the gym, I have no idea, but I find it like super cool when people wear caps. I don't think caps suit me to be honest. I'm trying to, I always see these gym fits. These people really, really do wear caps and stuff like that it looks so hot i just don't feel like i have the face for a cap i don't think I, I i don't think i feel confident or good in it um i'm loving braids recently yeah all this has come out but i really like having braids in my hair uh because i feel like dude when i put a bun it really pulls my hair i mean it's not good for someone who already has a lot of hair fall sometimes you just wake up in the most serious mood I don't know I don't know I think I'm just like going through it I have a lot of like moments you know it's like reflection reflecting on my life and like the people in my life and all of that it's really strange I have very like limited friends uh, limited like one Veronica the Sun oh my god the Sun makes me happy where I live um, the this of course it's mumbai there's like full like 20000 story building coming i mean of course not 20000 but like it's a tall building and it's covering everything i could possibly see so there's very less sun that reflects through the building and comes through and that's what's coming through and i'm just like i instantly felt good i think i don't know i just uh, i'm just feeling something I'm just not feeling good i'm just like questioning everything like i'm questioning the people in my life i'm questioning my family i'm questioning i don't know everything dude the best thing right now going for me is veronica my mother and abby like literally nobody else and it's just i don't know dude i think a braid is much better no h m the minimalist club i don't know or from zara i don't really know it's i don't know do i look weird i look weird i don't know it's crazy like how one at one point in your life you have like everybody right you have like so many people fake or real and then and then you don't have anyone it's it's that's what's like happening right now i'm just like where did everybody go i guess like people fall out of your life when they have to and it's a good thing i don't think you need to have everybody at all points of at all points in time in your life it's not possible um, so it's good to like filter out those people but I just feel like I think the the fact that my family never had a family 
is what's catching up to me right now i think like i like to be a nuclear family i don't think i would have done well in a joint situation but i'm just like i think you know how people still go for trips and stuff together as a family i think that's really fucking missing it's really missing and it's starting to get me in my 30s i think like um not having a family to count on or to like hang on to or whatever i don't know it's confusing i'm having the same thoughts like you guys have do i wear this or do i not i worked really hard on clipping my hair now <laughs> i think i should just wear it i think i should just wear it uh my dark circles are looking even darker because of the shadow it's okay let the hair fall <laughs> ah i just can't try anything right now that is bumming me out i am so not in the mood but i know that workout is going to make me feel fantastic and i will not skip my workout for anything apart from me not feeling like working out i don't think i will skip a workout because it's too important to me and it's a priority to me so i think if something's a priority i will move everything aside to make it happen and working out is a priority for me if i work out i look good and if i look good i feel good and i'm happy uh that's a lot for me i think physical appearance means a lot to me personally uh that's why i've always like maintained myself groomed myself stayed fit um it's not a priority for a lot of people a lot of people prioritize other things in life which is also fantastic it's really really so subjective you can't force a workout on someone you can't force grooming on someone you can't force it it has to come super naturally as to what is your priority for example if someone loves yoga they will get up at like freaking 5 am to do yoga I'm going for my hair color um next month and I'm super excited because I'm ready to get a new look on as in the same one but I'm just going to get more highlights onto my hair and I'm going to get myself a little blonde my roots are really dark and I've been having considerably less hair fall like it just reduced it's still falling it's still falling but it's reduced a lot and so I think it's the right time to get my hair color pack it I'm just going to do whatever makes me happy I really don't give a shit like hair makes me happy hair colors make me happy and i'm just going to do it i just uh, one of those moments you know having a moment so confusing dude so confusing i'm in a very confusing stage in my life right now it's so important like all i don't know what i'm saying i need to get out of this funk i need to get out of this funk Hi guys, good morning. These are my new chashmas. I'm sure you guys saw it on Instagram. If you didn't, then yes, I got new glasses. My mom gifted it to me. They're from Prada. Very bougie, but my mom wanted to buy me a a birthday present. So yeah, I said okay, chashmas. These are the classic Prada shape. Apparently, I don't know a lot about glasses and chashmas from brands, but like I just like the shape of it. I thought it was very unique, apart from the square that I love. And it's been like years since I've changed my frames, you guys. Like years. I don't know the last time I wore any other frame apart from my transparent ones. So this is very bold. You're not gonna love it instantly. I'm also getting the hang of it. I'm not completely obsessed with it, but I was like, I'm never gonna like any other frame apart from my standard ones because I'm so used to seeing myself in those frames. But my number has also gone up. I'm sure you guys know. I filled you in on that, I guess. But apart from the frames, it's so clear to see. Like the vision is so clear. But But uh, yeah, with makeup, this pack looks really good. Otherwise, it's like a little too bold and out there. You're gonna take time to get used to it. I have to get some coffee. I'm so thirsty for coffee. It's Thursday today. I have some work to do before I leave for Goa, and then I mostly wanna pack Abigail's bag a little bit, and then pack my bag, and then get ready. Time to massage my baby. Most of the fancy nails, like Mama, it's fine. I just wanted to show you 
to Abigail's nursery. A lot of you were asking me for a vlog, so I thought I'd put it in for you guys. So this is Abby's nursery. Actually, we have rearranged everything for its practical use. So if you guys have seen on Instagram, uh, we showed you like the fancier version of it, and but it's not really practical. Okay, we know that we can't put drugs and books on the floor when we have a toddler. Not a toddler, a newborn actually. So that is why we have rearranged everything to what it was in the beginning. Okay, so this is really how her nursery actually looks. We just shifted the furniture around for the reel and we've shifted it all back. And why this design works for us is because it leaves us a lot of space over here to walk. And my mom is now staying with me, right? So she actually sleeps in uh, Abby's nursery. And that's why this cute little bed for my mama. This is for Mikey, I ordered it myself. Uh, but this whole room was done up by Do It Up. You guys have heard of them before. I will leave all the tags on the screen or down below. What I did was I prepared a Pinterest like page or Pinterest board and I showed them what exactly I wanted. Like earthy tones, neutral tones. I wanted forest themed. So um, they understood exactly my vibe because they know me as well. And they're like, Mars, we got this. I think just a little bit before my birth, they had planned all of this and the furniture came in at the right time so we have some furniture i'll just show you what the big pieces are because a lot of you wanted to know so this is from the brand called little bird and i think it's super cute because this is abby's diaper changing station we have wipes here we have a comb cream all of the essentials some medicines that we need right here and then yeah we've got these three drawers and we've kept all her onesies and stuff like you can see so all her onesies clothes socks Mittens to pehle tha, abhi nahi hai, but burp cloths and stuff like that in the first draw because this is our essential. And then we have all her like swaddles and things like that, extra clothes. And these were also customized for us by Little Bird, so that is super cute. All these are forest themed, which is super nice. Of course, we have our diaper and all this is like overfilled with towels and stuff like that. She's outgrowing this now because she's a tall baby. But this is one of the best like investments I have made because I think this is her station and she knows when she's brought here like this is my diaper changing time. This lamp which is super old school and then this is from Ikea by the way. And then we've got two shelves also from Ikea. All of these books were gifted to me on my baby shower by all my friends and family which is super cute. We have some yeah Peppa Pig and tummy time all this for the first time I'm learning. <laughs> so I have all these books there and she does now spend time looking at the pictures of the books which are great now this crib a lot of you have asked me where is this crib from Mars? it's again from little bird and it is so convenient and cute because there's this railing here which we can see abby right through and now that she's growing up we wanted to lower this to a bottom half so that the bed is even lower uh, so then it's safer as well now we have all these decorations which is super cute it plays mama knows all the rhymes now so cute guys look at this she used to love it and now she's bored of it <laughs> now she knows her toys so she's like show me something new but yeah i just love it so we don't keep stuff on her crib this is just cute to show but it's important to have nothing on the crib which is something i know of and then the third thing we have from little bird is this breastfeeding chair right here so initially when i was breastfeeding i used to sit here and then i used to use my breastfeeding pillow and i used to prop my feet out here which were like which is like fantastic to breastfeed and yeah i've used this chair enough and just to comfortably sit here, a lot of people come and sit here and watch Abby, which is really nice. I absolutely love this sort of texture. It's a very like towel texture. I don't know what you call this, like towel? I don't know. It's like, it has a towel like feel to it. I'll tell you that. I think a footstool is very important when you're breastfeeding because you want to prop your legs up and sit comfortably. So those are the three items we have from Little Bird, one, two and three. And then this is from Ikea. I ordered this myself again for my mum. But now Abby's things as well as mum's uh, stuff is here. Now the cupboard is a little uh, jagged and messy. But like this is what, where her clothes hang. And the rest of it we have to donate. There are her carrier bags, diapers, all of the extra stuff, her toys and stuff are kept in the cupboard. And this is the star of her nursery. All of you were in love with this forest theme wallpaper. It is from Mamas and Peaches and it is so cute whenever I walk into this room I feel so warm and Abby looks at these animals and 
does Gaga go goofy? She talks to them, which I love. I love forest themed nursery. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, so this whole room is kept super simple and warm and inviting, which is why uh, we put just basic furniture, what she really needed. We don't have the rugs on the floor right now. And what else did we have back then? I think that's it, just the extra rugs we had, which we don't have on the floor right now. But yeah, that is the nursery i hope you like this small little tour do it up designs if you guys want to create your nursery or you want to do up any part of your house do it up is fantastic because it really really get the essence of you they understand your personality and that's how they do the room within your budget which is the best part i think they fit everything in your budget and they do it so tastefully and beautifully and they really make made the neutrals work for me because a lot of people find beige boring but i'm a beige girl and they made the neutrals really kick off with the earthy tones of greens and slight subtle powder pinks and that worked for me really well so this is your tour okay guys so this is how her how we actually use her diaper station now we have her medicines right here we have her body oil right here her brush lotion all of this is kept right in front uh, <laughs> i know for aesthetic purposes we had kept like a tissue box and stuff but that's not really how it works so i just wanted to show you the reality of it we have her dry sheets down there we've got everything accessible and we do keep a dry sheet here because of, of course we change her diaper here so we don't want it to transfer directly onto the sheet but this is from i don't know this is gifted to us uh this is the diaper pail the 8000 rupee diaper pail that everybody comes for me for the like just use a regular dustbin we do not need to change the trash for a for the entire day it fits perfectly for the entire day and we just take it out once which is fabulous my hair in place i put a braid in the night as usual i'm liking braids a lot actually when i just have a bad hair day i put my hair in a braid i woke up at 6 a.m and because abby wakes up these days really early but she sleeps a lot so i understand and yeah i just like you know was chilling with her then i went inside and i crashed myself and then i woke up feeling really like oh, i have to go to the gym now it's leg day i know that it's a friday and so many reasons not to go but every time i feel low and like i cannot go work out i can find 10000 reasons why it's the weekend i'm too tired i have a child but i'm like look this is what makes you who you are this fitness drives you fitness is my favorite so go and it's the last day of the week you can do this one more day and uh, i put on music i put ap dilon because i love ap dilon's music excuses and then dil nu and what all i keep playing it just plays in the background and music releases this brain chemical called dopamine i'm sure you guys know of it already but if you've not heard of it like dopamine is your happy chemical in the brain and music is processed through um, the amygdala which is responsible for you having good moods and for you just being in a good mood basically so yeah i think all you have to do is trigger that dopamine chemical to release and music helps me feel happy so a lot of things drugs sex release dopamine and that's why people keep doing it they're addicted to it because the feeling of that is just pure bliss and joy so the release of dopamine also helps with anxiety and depression and all you got to do is release that dopamine when the dopamine levels are down and it's out you start feeling depressed and sad and all you got to do is bring that chemical back up and listening to music does that a lot of other things release dopamine um all good stuff and anything that makes you happy a lot of you ask me what gloves i use weirdly it's just a random amazon glove port near and yeah these are the gloves i use for weights to lift my weights time to go to the gym i really miss wearing good workout outfits i think i'm bored of my outfits i've ordered one from uh this brand called define and it's from the us it's gonna come soon and yeah I think just a sports bra and like high waisted pants. I really like my pants to be like up till my ribs, uh, but you don't get really high waisted pants here. 
a lot like workout tights so i'm making do with whatever i have and sports bras are another issue for me just cannot post breastfeeding your boobs are not the same again okay i mean they look cute they look the same again luckily only with one child but it doesn't look the same it doesn't it doesn't have the same volume and the same like firmness that i had um but obvious because of breastfeeding and so i really need my bras to be super tight and this one's from h&m it's h&m move i think it's not the best it's okay it's not it's medium impact i need a high impact bra and so i've called for one let's see i think i'm just gonna wear a braid today your hair doesn't fall all over your face it looks good it looks cute um this or the bun is what i typically go for this is a brush i got on amazon i don't put makeup to the gym i wear the patchouli glow by 82 east it's a sunscreen spf 40 so i want my face to be like glowing because i feel really dry first thing in the morning so yeah i also wear the dot and key sunscreen but i'm just i've been wearing this one now i've been liking this um uh, yeah it's glowy it's beautiful on the face um i of course i do prefer my regular sunscreen on the daily but this is great for the gym i think it's lightweight it is glisteny glossy it has spf i said i don't put makeup okay lipstick is just a way of life like it's very important to look good during your workout wearing like loose t-shirts and stuff it's on you as long as you feel good in loose t-shirts i don't feel good in loose t-shirts i need to wear something snug and fit and cropped that's when i feel like really good you know and it's important to feel really good when you're working out if you feel good you'll work out better you look good film yourself it's a high recommendation to film yourself when working out because you just are conscious of the camera and you perform better because you want to form to be better and you can see your progress more most importantly you can see your progress guys i'm back from the gym my daughter is mama. you guys know my skincare routine already i'm using the 82 east go to cola serum on my face in my defense dew moisturizer and then right after that i've been using biosans this is the Biosan Squalane, Squalane Vitamin C Rose Oil. Um, Sephora sent this to me. It is a pretty good oil. My face to feel glowy and glistening. And then there's some vitamin C in there, so I'll put some sunscreen. I've written my... Um, I've done my skincare routine recently, in case you guys want to check it out. I got this Dove Ultimate Repair Dark Mark Corrector. It's good, but it's not as good as my green tea and cucumber. I don't know, I cannot find a match as good as my green tea and cucumber. But this is TK. I'll use this up. Ah, I just shaved. I use the Gillette Venus shaving blade. My favorite. It's always been the Nivea Coco Nourish and my Mesic Beauty oil. I mix the two. Nice and glistening. Put that all over my body. This is self care. This, this spending time with myself. Shower gel. I use the Dove Revitalizing Body Wash in Peach. This is the peach and vitamin C. A lot of vitamin C happening. So good. So good. It was actually quite easy. <laughs> We're excited like children. Yeah, exactly. One bread. No, Lance. No, Lance.